Hello, and welcome to ShipU Stats. In this video, we're going to go over the one way chi squared test in JAVS. A one way chi squared test is also known as a multinomial test, and it will allow us to test the proportions of individuals in different categories on a nominal or ordinal variable. A one way chi squared test will allow us to test two similar but different research questions. The first, is testing if the proportions or frequencies of participants in different categories on nominal or ordinal variables are equally distributed. The second is testing to see if those proportions or frequencies of participants in different categories match the proportions that I expect given the variable under study. To demonstrate a one-way chi-squared test, I'm going to go over two different examples. The first example We'll examine whether or not the proportion of students who participate in Greek life is equal to the proportion of students who do not participate in Greek life. To set this up in my spreadsheet, I'm going to go ahead and enter my variable Greek and enter in numbers such that zeros represent students who do not participate in Greek life and ones represent students who do participate in Greek life. The other example will be smoking. I'm going to look to see if the proportion of students who smoke matches the proportion of people who smoke in the general population. Again, I'll enter my data so that zeros represent non-smokers, and then ones represent smokers. Now that I have my data here, I can go ahead and open it up in JASP. Now that we're here in JASP, we can go ahead and set up our variables, and then we can run our analyses. There's two things we should do to set up our variables in JASP. The first is to label our different values. To do this, go ahead and click on your variable name, and you can go ahead and enter different labels for each value. The other thing you should make sure you do is that you change your variable type either nominal or ordinal. If it's scale, you won't be able to run this particular kind of test. Now that we've done that, let's go ahead and quickly get our descriptive statistics. Go ahead and click on descriptive, and move over the variables you're looking to work with. Now that we've done that, we can go ahead and quickly click on Frequency Table. For a multinomial test, it's our frequencies that we're concerned with, so these are probably the statistics we want most. All right, now it's time to run our analyses. To run our analysis, we'll go ahead and click on Frequencies, and then go to Multinomial Test. As a reminder, a one-way chi-squared test and a multinomial test are actually the same test. We'll go ahead and click on that, and we'll come to this window here. Let's start with our question about Greek life. We'll go ahead and click on Greek and move that over to factor. Factor is just another word for independent variable. Once we've moved that over, we'll go ahead and click on equal proportions, which should be there by default. Once we've done this, we can go ahead and look down here and we'll see our chi-squared value, our degrees of freedom, and our p-value. We can see from our p-value that this test was not significant, meaning that they were not different in proportions between groups. We can also click on descriptives, and that will give us our observed values or frequencies as well. All right, let's move on to our other test. To conduct our other test, we'll go ahead and go back to frequencies and go back to multinomial test. Once we've done that, we can go ahead and move over our variable to our factor box. And then this time, instead of just clicking equal proportions, we'll go ahead and click on expected proportions. Here we can go ahead and enter our expected proportions. I happen to know that 15% of the population smoke, and 85% of the population doesn't smoke. So now I'm comparing my sample to these proportions instead of to the equal proportions that we compared to previously. I can go ahead and click on descriptive. And now if I scroll down, you'll see that I have my proportions of my sample here. I have my chi-squared value. I have my degrees of freedom. And I have my p-value. Here my p-value is significant which means that my proportions in my sample don't match the proportions that I'm expecting because of the population. All right, now it's time to write all this up in APA format. To write up our results in APA format, we're going to need to take some information from our tables and then write a sentence that conveys that information. In this particular situation, here's my chi-squared value, here's my degrees of freedom, and here's my p-value. I'm also going to need my total sample size. In this situation, my p-value was not significant. So my sentence is going to look like this one here. 
I'm going to tell people that the proportions were not statistically significantly different from equal. Then I'm going to make sure I include the relevant statistics. I'm going to go ahead and put my chi-squared symbol in, my de degrees of freedom in parentheses, my total sample size in parentheses with it, our chi-squared value, and then finally our p-value. Let's move on to our other example. In our other example, we did have statistical significance. So this time, I'm going to convey that to the reader. As before, I'm going to enter my chi-squared symbol, my degrees of freedom, my sample size, my chi-squared value, and my p-value. All right, this is how we can go ahead and write up a one-way chi-squared test in APA format. Thanks for watching.